In this video, I will show you what makes a product a medical device. Hi, I'm Peter Sibelius, the founder of MedicalDeviceHQ.com, and this video is a part of my online course on design control for medical devices. The link for this course is in the video description below. Before we get to it, please click the subscribe and notifications buttons to not miss other useful videos from our premium online courses. Let's get to it. You might have heard people from the quality assurance or the regulatory affairs department saying that we need to do this and we need to do that. In this part, I will be showing you where all this comes from and why it is important. And it all starts with asking the question, what is a medical device? Because all the requirements we talk about apply specifically to products that are considered to be medical devices. So how could you determine whether a product is a medical device or not? For the European market, the answer to that question lies in the Medical Device Directive and the Medical Device Regulation. And for the US market, the answer is in the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetics Act. In these norms, there are definitions of what a medical device is. Now, if your product matches the criteria of those definitions, it is a medical device. And that, in turn, means that you have to meet the requirements of the directives, regulations and the quality system regulation and other applicable US regulations that apply to medical devices. Let's look at what those criteria look like in a very simplified flowchart. There are two major factors that you would have to look at when trying to determine if your product is a medical device or not. Please note that this is a somewhat simplified process, but it should give you an idea of what the process is like. Firstly, as a manufacturer, you need to work out what you intend your product to be used for, meaning does the product have a medical purpose or is it intended to be used for birth control? If it doesn't, then it's not a medical device. But if there is a medical purpose, it might very well be a medical device. But there is one more thing you need to consider before getting to that conclusion. You have to define how your product achieves its primary purpose. And this is what makes the difference between whether your product is a medical device or a medicinal product or pharmaceutical. If the purpose is not achieved by pharmacological, metabolic or immunological means, the product is likely to be a medical device. And then, on the contrary, if the primary mode of action is pharmacological, metabolic or immunological, the device is likely to be a medicinal product. And if it is, there are other norms that regulate your product. Now, I've used the words likely to be a medic medical device and likely to be a medicinal product. Why do I say that? Well. Sometimes it's not entirely clear what kind of classification your product should have. Some might say that it's a medical device and others say that it's a medicinal product or is it maybe neither of the two? Being the responsible manufacturer, you need to make up your mind what you think and document your rationale for that opinion. If it's hard to decide, it could end up being a competent authority that ultimately decides for you how your product should be classified. Luckily, for most products, it is not that hard to crack from a classification point of view, but I won't say it never happens either. So this is a heads up for you who think you might have a borderline product. So what all this means is that if you intend your product to be used for diagnosis, for example, a thermometer, a therapy, which could be band-aids or surgery, let's say a scalpel or as a contraceptive, like a condom, and your product does not achieve its primary purpose by pharmacological, metabolic, immunological means, it is probably a medical device. Even if your product is assisted in its function by a medicinal product, it can be a medical device as long as the primary purpose is not achieved by the pharmaceutical component of your medical device. Please note that also standalone software and mobile phone apps can be medical devices, assuming they meet the criteria of being a medical device. As mentioned before, there are legal definitions describing in detail what a medical device is in different markets. You will find the European and US definitions and criteria below for reference. Now, if your product is a medical device and you are planning to sell it to the European Union, you should meet the requirements of the medical device regulation or the MDR. And if you're planning to sell to the US, you should meet the requirements of the quality system regulation or QSR. Is there anyone in your network that might be in the process of developing something that may or may not be a medical device? Why not doing your network a favor by sharing this video with them on LinkedIn? 
people might thank you for doing so. And speaking of LinkedIn, do follow Medical Device HQ on LinkedIn. There is a link to our company page in the description below. Thank you for watching. Just a reminder, click the subscribe and the notifications buttons to make sure you'll always see new content from us. Do you want to know more about design control? Go to medicaldevicehq.com and sign up for my online course today. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. The link is in the video description. If you think you learned something from this video, like and share. Have any questions? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again. I'm Peter Sibelius and I'll see you in the next video.